Oh, we got a really good question today. Someone wrote in and asked, what can I do to serve the Lord when a long-term illness keeps me from physically serving him? Well, I can relate in a small degree. A couple years ago, I was really ill. I could not get out. I was nearly bed bound, chair bound for about six months. And I was bound and determined to serve the Lord. And so there were several things that I did during that time. So this is a great question. And I'm so glad you asked. First of all, you can text people. You have a phone. Everybody has a phone. Text them. Text them and communicate. Say hi. Send a, a Bible verse. Uh, reach out. And you may be thinking, oh, I'm the one sick. Why am I encouraging them? Because it's going to come back to you, right? So encourage them. Pray for them. Reach out and say, hey, how's it going? What are you doing today? Maybe make a phone call. Ask them to give you a call at a certain time when it's convenient, when you're not in the doctor's office or having treatment or going through a, a rough time. Um, you can send letters in the mail. You know, if somebody sends you a card, turn around and send them a card back. And the cool thing is now with, you know, the internet, we can order a care package and have it delivered in one or two days. So you could order a care package and have that sent to somebody. You can serve the Lord in that way, even from the comfort of your own home. But most importantly, I think the greatest ministry is the ministry of prayer. Even though you're at home, you can serve the Lord in the most amazing way by praying for other people.